Hakura's Miss Leith Yaki. Hello, friends. It's Miss Leith here. Um, just making another short little video to help you guys continue speaking and learning Dakota language um, at your time home with uh, hopefully your family. So um, this is something that you can use each and every day. We are going to be learning relative terms. Again, if you do not have this handout, um, you might in the future. Um, but I want everybody to learn these, not just my home-based families or center-based or expecting families. Anybody can learn these words and start using them at home today. And so I'm gonna do some very simple term terminology. Um, and you can use this, take this and use this with your family every day at home. And so we will start with yourself. How do you how do you say, you know, myself? And that would just be mie. Mie. That's me. Um, and now we're gonna go to parents, which are hunkayake, hunkake, hunkake, hunkake. <laughs> we're all learning together, friends. Hunkake. So that's parents. And we'll start with ate. Ate means dad. Ina. Ina is mom. Um, we're going to go to the Sampa Hukake. So it's like um, grandparents. Um, ukana. Ukana means grandfather. Kunshi. Kunshi is grandmother. We all love our kunshis and ukanas. <laughs> um, we'll do children next. So this would be like my son, my daughter. Um, um, so son is chinkshi. Chinkshi is son. Chunkshi. Chunkshi is daughter. Um, if you want to talk about your husband, your wife, or um, your partner, um, it would just be Hassani. Hassani. And that just means your other half. Um, for uncles and aunts, uncle is deshki, deshki, um, and aunt is tungwi, tungwi. Um, we will go to siblings next. And so with siblings, there are male um, words for older and younger siblings. And then for females, there are different words for um, older, si older and younger siblings. So bear with me. Um, we will do the wechashta, we will do the male terms first. And so for older brother, for a male, um, older brother is chunwe, chunwe. It means older brother for another male. For younger brother would be misun, misun. For an older sister, tanke, tanke. And for a younger sister, talk she, talk she. And so those are all the male terms for siblings. Now we will go to the female. We will go to the we are terms. For females, an older brother is tibido, tibido, <laughs> tibido. For a younger brother, it is the same as the we chastas, and so it is misun, misun. For an older sister, it is chunwe, chunwe. And for a younger sister, it is mitanka, mitanka. Um, now we, um, let's see. Mm, I'll show you guys how we can say this in a sentence. And so if you wanted to introduce somebody, um, a relative to somebody else, um, we can easily do that. Um, I'll teach you guys the sentence here. And so whichever relative it is that you wanna pick from, for me, I'll do my son. So I would say mi chinkshi, mi chinkshi, ki Marcus. Echiapi ye. 
And so that is just saying, my son, um, Marcus, they call him. Of course, in Dakota, a female say yay, male say do at the end of sentences. And so if I was a male and I wanted to introduce my dad, <laughs> I would say mi a taking Thomas e chiapi do. Of course, that's how a male would say it. And so you would say a chiapi as long as it's one person that you're talking about, one person that you're introducing. If you want to introduce um, multiple people, so mm, I have four older brothers and so I'll introduce them. Um, so as a female, I would say me Tibido, Ki, Freddie, Chuck, TJ, Ka'a, Marcus, Iwik Chiapie. So what I just said is my older brother, uh, Freddie, Chuck, TJ and Marcus, they call them. Um, of course, change it to yay do if you're male, female. Um, and that is uh, introducing relatives 101. <laughs> um, don't get overwhelmed. Don't get too confused over it all. It all comes with time. Um, uh, for this first step, I would really encourage just using those terms with the people that you have in your house. Have your siblings call each other by their sibling names. Um, I will try to post this on the Facebook as a picture so you can reference it really easily. Um, and you can read the words as you hear me say it. Um, so just start encouraging your family members to start using these terms. Um, once you guys are ready, push it a little farther and start to introduce each other by um, telling each other who each other's names are and using those relative terms um, in your, in your household. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Whew, we made it. <laughs> um, continue speaking every day. Use as much Dakota as you can, as you know, um, continue reading to your children, um, replacing, uh, colors and numbers or whatever Dakota, you know, as much as possible. Um, so you, you can continue learning and your children can continue learning. Of course, if you want to see more videos like this or you and you have an idea of what you want to see, comment below, let us know, share this video so others can start learning Dakota with us. Doshkake!